Hi guys, it's Moa aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and today we're actually doing a blind tasting. So I'm taking part in a tasting with Becky Paskin uh, from Our Whiskey and they're doing a virtual tasting but they have a few different sessions and each set each session is different to the other. So last week was the first one, and that was uh, one with international whiskies. Um, this week it is only Scottish Scottish single malts, um, and it's actually happening tonight when I'm recording this. But I thought I would give them all a little taste and a little some wee tasting notes just to see what I think about them uh, without knowing at all what they are and then I'm also going to include my tasting notes and thoughts after the tasting when I actually know what they all are as well. Uh, I would of course love to hear if you're taking part in any of these sessions. Uh, I wish I could take part in more of them. Uh, they do sound absolutely amazing and last week's international tasting has some really great whiskies on it so I can't wait to hear more about these tonight and find out what they are. Uh, but the only thing we know is this little note here that it came in the package which says time for whiskey with real impact get ready for a Scottish double act and this tasting is taking part on the 7th of May at 6 p.m. so that's tonight um, but this video will go live tomorrow with all my thoughts. So let's start with the first whiskey, uh, which is quite pale in colour. It's a 40% ABV um, and it's a single malt scotch whiskey, that's all I know. Very clean on the nose. Almost has a kind of oily, waxy, fruity feel.
four. So number four is quite very, very pale in color. Uh, it sits at 46% ABV and it's a Scottish single malt. And this is peated. <laughs> Nice peat though. It's um, like a bonfire on a beach. Uh, reminds me a bit of uh, Talisker. Yeah, bonfire on a beach is uh, the note I tend to give for this kind of smoke. It's quite dry, it's warming, slightly salty perhaps. It's like a mellow sweetness there as well. Let's mm. have a taste of Slangeva. Yes, that same kind of character on the palette. So like, driftwood pops up in my head. Maybe that makes sense. But it's this ashy, salty smoke that's very dry, very warming. Definitely reminds me of a Talisker. But the smoke is not so powerful. Perhaps that's why it reminds me of this. Maybe I'm just uh, smoke blind, uh, but it does have Yeah, this this kind of mellow smoke that is still quite powerful, but it's not like an explosion. It's just this very kind of like a smaller smoke, but very powerful. Uh, and then if you have something that's like super explosive, then it's like this big burst of um, smoke. But I don't find that on this. It's almost like a sweeter smoke as well. So that kind of sweeter smoke you tend to find on a Kalila. Very ashy, but I really like it. It's um, yeah, if you like a dry smoke, then this is absolutely lovely. Oh, I'm so curious to find out what these are. <laughs> but let's move on to our last one. So the last one is slightly darker in color. It is at 46.6% ABV, so it's the highest one in strength. cleaner and crisper in its flavor but more ashy and more dry and this last one just has a kind of golden like a sweet oak note to it I'm curious it also has this kind of oily element to it yeah it definitely reminds me of like this oily note that you tend to find in some Isla whiskeys I'm just trying to figure out which one 
that's the thing my brain is working to see if there's anything I recognize or anything that is familiar or similar something else that I've tried but it's really difficult of course it is difficult to name whiskies and I mean I shouldn't even try to have a guess but I will definitely be very intrigued to find out what these are. But I'll do a quick little retaste and see what the final thoughts are. This first one is so crisp and sweet and clean. Green apple -y. But on the palate, it's like mellowed down. It has that kind of green sweetness to it. And definitely that oily. A hint of like pear candy and an oakiness as well in this one. It's like it has its dry elements and then just goes really mouth watering. Number two. Definitely sweeter and more like strawberries on the nose. Like fresh, sweet strawberries, like summer. Yeah, strawberry jam, probably. <laughs> a drying sensation on the tongue, which makes me think that it might be some sort of wine cask. Yeah, but just that strawberry jam, it's, um, yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> Number three. not so ashy, uh, perhaps a bit of like more fruity sweetness in this one. Yes, so to me today, what stands out the most is the second and the fourth one. Um, so I can't wait to find out what these five are. And of course, I'm gonna cut in my reactions after the tasting and my thoughts. Um, so you don't have to wait for it, but I'm gonna have to wait several hours, uh, but it will be exciting. Hi again, so uh, I've just actually turned off the TV because I've been watching the tasting and I mean, I feel so tricked on some of these drums. So it turned out that the people that were doing the tasting with Becky was Dr. Bill Lumsden and Brendan McCarran from Glen Morangy and Art Begg. Um, I didn't spot Art Begg, but now when I know what it is, 
it's totally hard to beg. Um, I'm so glad I liked it. And the fourth one that I really, really liked, which I thought was similar to perhaps a talisker, was of course Ardbeg 10, my baby. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ardbeg 10 was my gateway whiskey, so it was the whiskey that um, kind of got me to believe that I liked whiskey because um, it just had this amazing flavour for me. But yeah, the first dram was Glamorne D10 original and it's actually quite funny because um, we have a friend, Harry, if you're watching this, um, that every time we give him a Glenmore ND10 as a mystery dram, a blind dram, um, he always gets different tasting notes on it. And for me, it has this underlying Glenmore ND maltiness, which of course I recognize now that I know what it is, but yeah, no, I did not recognize it before. Um, the second one I thought could have been Tomatin 14 uh, because it has a port cask influence, but it was actually the Quinta Rubin and it's the new one, the 14 year old. So very, very happy that I got both the port cask and the 14 year old right. Um, so yeah, that was like strawberry jam in a glass. So it's still one of my biggest favorites. I think the biggest surprise of the evening was dram number three. So we tried it before the tasting again, um, just to kind of revisit it, because I, I was struggling to find notes on it. And for me, it had this kind of vegetal note, like an earthy vegetal note along with that golden fruitiness. And it was a Glenmorangie Signet. My mind was blown, because I remember that as being so, like it has a very kind of mellow fruitiness so maybe it's that golden fruitiness but also that kind of coffee bitterness not at all expecting that vegetal note um so yeah very very surprised by that one fourth one like i said ardbeg 10 um definitely recognize it now it has that lovely dry bonfire on a beach flavor to it um, and perhaps i am a bit smoke blind because i thought it would have been uh, a lot more of a smoother smoke, a uh, more mellow smoke, which is why I guessed Talisker. But it's of course this big powerful Ardbeg smoke. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a bit smoke blind on that one. And then of course the last one was Ardbeg Enoa, which is exactly like I remembered it. Um, it's, yeah, it's lovely. If you want to hear more on my notes on Ardbeg Enoa, uh, I have put the link to that video down here in the description, because uh, I've actually reviewed that already. But did you do this tasting? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what do you think of these five? The three Glamorangies and the two Ardbegs. Um, hopefully we'll be able to try some really interesting expressions from both of these distilleries coming up soon. Uh, but definitely was a really good tasting that I enjoyed. So thank you to Becky and our whiskey for putting it together. Um, but as always, I hope you'll have a lovely day. Don't forget to subscribe and give a like if you like this video. Uh, but Slangeva, let's go on.